An Eagle's Feather by Men Feng Ho. Illustrations by Francis Alvarez. Flying high above the forest of Tambala at sunrise, Kalyan spots a monkey. Food. The young Philippine eagle swoops down to follow the monkey. Where did it go? On and on, Kalyan flies in pursuit of it. He notices the landscape below changing. Where are the trees? Where are the animals? Where are those people? Scared, he turns to fly back when boom! There's a shotgun blast and a sharp pain in his wing. In a flurry of feathers and blood, he starts to fall and keeps falling. Kalyan crashes onto the hard ground. He is dazed and weak, unable to get up. Suddenly, he hears footsteps and voices approaching. What is happening? He's been shot, Father. Kalyan hears a boy's voice shouting. Must be a hunter nearby. Hurry! Kalyan feels the gentle touch of small hands and big strong arms wrapping him in a cloth and carrying him. Then everything turns dark. When he wakes up, Kalyan does not know where he is. Instead of trees, there are metal bars all around him. He tries to fly, but his hurt wing is bound tight. And who's that in the other corner of his cage? Another eagle? What is this place, Kalyan asks. Why are we here? We are safe here, says the other eagle. You were brought here by kind villagers after you were shot by hunters. My name is Pinpin, Pin, and unlike you, I was born and raised right here. But why would people want to shoot us? Do they dislike us? No. In fact, there was a time people thought of us as kings of the sky, because we were the strongest birds in the whole of the Philippines. Pinpin Pin pauses, but that was a long time ago. Over the next few months, as Kalyan's wing heals, the two eagles spend their time getting to know each other more. Pin Pin talks of how, according to what her mother told her, the forest has been cut down for timber so that eagles have less and less space to hunt for food. That's when people started hunting us down, Pin Pin says, and there are not many of us left now. So we are kept in these cages for our own safety, Kalyan asks. And I will never see my forest home again? Don't lose hope, Pin Pin comforts her new friend. Someday, we may both be set free into the forest, just like my mother was. She told me to live for that day when I grew big enough to be released. And after that, I could find a mate and build a nest to raise baby eagles in safety. And me, Kalyan asks, will I be set free again too? I hope so, Pin Pin says. The two eagles stare at the bars of their cage as the leaves of the forest beyond shimmer in the moonlight. One day, after a very long time, Kalyan and Pinpin Pin wake up to a quiet morning. The day of their release back into the wild has finally come. They are wrapped in cloth and taken to the forest. And at first light, they are set free. Kalyan and Pinpin Pin are so excited. One, two, three, and off they fly.
Back in the forest of Tombala, there is no cage. There are no wounds on their wings. The air is fresh, and they feel so happy to see the lush forest and the boundless blue sky. It's so beautiful out here, just like in Mother's stories, Pinpin -pin says. Everything feels so new, but it's so good to fly free. This is where we belong, Pinpin, -pin, Kalyan replies. At last, we are home. From the branches and leaves, they hear a familiar voice. It's them, says the boy. Hurry, father. They wave up to the eagles, smiling. Kalyan swoops down and flaps his wings to thank them and continues to fly off with Pin Pin into the dawn. <laughs>